really felt inside the court. She brought her leadership inside and of course there are a lot of rookies also like what coach Mia said there are six in their lineup na talagang bago sa kanila nabanggit ko wala nang si Diegos Tring Batara yung pumalit at nag-deliver agad-agad sa kanilang unang laban all right so it's gonna be EAC versus JRU in just a little bit let's turn you over to our Coliseum announcer for Magandang the Introduction umaga, of the mga Players. Kapuso, mula sa San Andres Sports Complex. Ito po ang NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game. Napapanood tayo ngayon sa GTV Worldwide, sa pamamagitan ng GMA Pinoy TV at GMA News TV International, at may live streaming pa sa gmanetwork.com, NCAA Philippines website, YouTube at Facebook, with NCAA updates, highlights, and results on GMA Integrated News. Presenting our game officials for this match, first a referee, Darius Caganda. Second referee, Glenn Flores. Presenting our game for this day, it's Emilio Aguinaldo College, Lady Generals. Versus Jose Rizal University, Lady Bombers. Now let us meet the starters of both teams. First off, from Emilio Aguinaldo College, Lady Generals. Opposite hitter, number two, Jen Omapas. Middle blocker, number three, Rhea Magalona. Middle blocker, number five, Jaja Villena. Outside hitter, number seven, Chrissy Reyes. Another outside hitter, number eight, Kat Almasan. Setter at number 16, George Lutz. Starting libero at number 1, CJ Gordon. Head coach of the Lady Generals, Rod Palmero. And now for the starters of Jose Rizal University, Lady Bombers. First on outside hitter and team captain at number 9, May Ruiz. Outside hitter number three, Kyla Hazareno. Opposite hitter number eight, Nicole Diala. Setter number 12, Geraldine Laurente. Middle blocker at number 16, Gail Batara. Another middle blocker at number 17, Pat Del Pilar. Starting libero at number, one, at number five, Marion Alonia. Head coach of the Lady Bombers, Mia Chuseco. Time to meet the starters from both teams para dito sa EAC Lady Generals. They're staying put with this uh, starting unit. This is almost similar to what they used against the Benin Lady Blazers led by Kat Almazan. And of course, ang kawanto combo niya. Itong si Krasia Reyes on the other side. Getting awarded with a start today is Nicole Deala, who did not start versus Perpetual, but because she contributed Five points uh, coming off the bench. He gets the start today alongside their key gunners here. Ako ang inaabangan ko at medyo nagulat ako. Hindi masyado nakapag-contribute itong kapitana ng JRU na si May Ruiz. We all know what she is capable of. She was the third leading scorer of the Lady Bombers in the past season. Only two points against Perpetual. So parang siya yung nabantayan din, Kaira. I think 
yung preparation kasi ng nakalaban nila last game, talagang binabantayan si Ruiz because of course, she's the captain. She has a lot of pressure in herself. So, kailangan na kailangan siyang mag-step up that game and hopefully she brings it today yeah. against the AC. So, yung first two leading scorers kasi ng JRU from the past season, wala na. Riza Rose at Sidney Niegos. Here's the spike. Oh, attack error right away coming from Riza Reyes. Not the start that they wanted talking about EAC. That's gonna give a gimme to JRU. This is something that they should uh, iwasan nila. EAC is having a lot of, had a lot of errors in the last game and hopefully they uh, make, a, make a way to fix that today. Lefty push, not gonna work again. The AC Lady Generals showed a lot of promise in that third set. And one of the players who showed some potential, Shaja Villiana, getting one here. I love the energy that she was bringing inside the court. I and mean, look at the elevation that yeah. she had for that hit. She is a middle blocker, but the mga setup sa kanya hindi pang quick, ano? Hindi it's pang a little quicker. high. Yeah. So now off timing then yung blockers niya. That's right. Kirsha Reyes now starting at the back as she serves Laurente. Going to the ala. Wow. That was so powerful. Oh, oh. Lefty hit. It's a free ball. JRU has a chance to set up. Combination. Meruiz connects. That was a really good play from JRU. Ruiz hitting in the middle. You can see Umiko siya. And inabangan actually ng EAC. Pero the timing of the blocking was not there. And she used the hands of the blockers. Yeah, yeah imagine off timing din sila. Maaga pa, pero nag combination na. Itong JRU. Ooh. Del Pilar. Ball still up. Ah, denied! What a block from JRU! Del Pilar up and beyond with that block. How about this? The extension by Del Pilar to deny that attempt. Of course, we're talking about the middle blockers of JRU. Talagang they have to step up because yung role na they have to keep up with is Sid Niegos, who already graduated, unfortunately, for her team. Kaya ito yung mga players na inaasahan ni Coach Mia na mag-step up. Oo, ang laking uh, puwang na iniwan ni Sid Niegos. Of course, not only as their leader on the court, leading scorer, pero yung, yung presence niya talaga eh. Diba, pag nandun siya sa court, nakakakuha ng kumpiyansa yung mga teammates niya. Ooh, Del Pilar had to adjust. Almazan converts. That was a good placement hit from Almazan. She is showing her fierceness early here in the first set. So, I remember in their yeah. last game, EAC versus Benil, Almazan was struggling in the first yeah. set. She was trying to find her footing and... It's a good thing that we're seeing it here early in the first set against GRU. That's right. Took her a while to warm up her engine. Pero ito, Nicole Deanna. This is looking like an ace. A diamond in the rough found by coach uh, Mia Choseco. The lefty sharp hitter connecting early on. Coach Mio was talking to me earlier. She said she has six newcomers in the team. So, yeah. medyo nahihirapan nga uh, makakuha pa ng first six niya. But having Dayala here yes. in her first six, she has been showing so much prowess. Here's the off-the-block finish by Kat Almazan, who, as you mentioned, is having a much different start here. Much better start against JRU compared to that game against Benyod. Their body language is so much different from their last game. That's right. Casareno down the line. Goes out. Too strong on the swing for Kaila Hazareno. Good intention going for that down the line, and although it was too wide. Yeah, good intention because maliban dun sa blockers na initially nag-attempt ng block, Eh, wala nang nasa likod para sa EAC. Laurente, 1-2. Heads up play by Inday. What a dunk. Yeah. 
by Laurente. She saw that there were no blockers in front of her and inaabangan kasi yung middle. Abang na abang na yung blockers, yung middle spiker and also yung open hitter. So she made a way to make that point her own. That was a quick decision by Indai. That was a rather fast ball na dinam mm -hmm. niya dun. Ooh! Oh, this is gonna be an error on JRU. Very close fight here in the first set. 65, it's been a seesaw battle so far. Tit for tat between EAC and JRU in the opening set. Katalmazan, who is donning number eight. Too strong on the serve. So both sides, yeah. again, error for last service time. And this is Gana Hazareno. Represented JRU again in the beach volleyball competition this year. Also did in the past season. Lutz over to Reyes and she puts it down. What an angle from Reyes going cross for it. Seeing that she had two blockers in front of her na nabantayan talaga siya. As we can see from the replay, look at how she moved her body and her swing. Niwas. Cross court hit para dito kay Crazy Reyes, and we know she is very much capable of that. Rea Magalona will serve now. Laurente finding Ruiz, who went low on that attack. Ruiz is a very, very powerful spiker, although having that error there, too much aggression. First technical timeout here. On the other side, we'll have our love, De Jesus. Black Rider, 9.40 p.m. Saji TV. Alam ko na yun to. Anak ko yung pinagbubuntis mo. Wala siyang kakayahan na malaman ko anong totoo. Paano kung maunahan niya ako kay Jordan? Jordan, may good news at bad news ako sa'yo. Anong gusto mo unahin ko? Asawa ng asawa ko. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lapang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang mag sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Pinegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Aira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup 
sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag Welcome back mga kapuso. You are still watching the NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament for the season. 99 with a game between the EAC Lady Generals and the GRU Lady Bombers. I am Arla Bersuz working on the sidelines. When I spoke to one of the most influential players from the GRU Lady Bombers, si Mary Louise, she shared to me na sobrang halaga raw ng leadership inside and outside of the court. Kasi bawat segundo raw sa volleyball ay importante. At ngayong season daw, they really focused on their chemistry and teamwork. Kasi karamihan sa kanila ngayon ay mga bagong recruit. On the other hand, for the EAC Lady Generals, when I spoke to Jennifer Omapas, she strongly believed that for this season, makakabawi daw sila at iaangat daw nila ang standings ng grupo. Kaya naman, this game will be tough for both teams since they are all expecting for their first ever win this season. 99 over now, Martin and Gaira. Maraming salamat, Arlo. Relating what our love said, what a good report. I had the chance to talk to Coach Mia also earlier. Yeah. When there was that beach volleyball tournament, the NCAA beach volleyball tournament in Subic. Yeah. Wala talagang gap or walang break ang JRU Lady Bombers kasi ang buong team dinala ni Coach Pumunta Mia. Sila Pumunta na sila sa Subic. So sabi ni Coach Mia, talagang wala sa naging break. So they had that chance to build their chemistry and just communicate inside the court. And they were all together in one mm -hmm. place. Iba rin yun, yung may bonding Yes, na. it's like a team building. That's right. Na may... Volleyball pa rin. Tapos, nagko-competition yung tatlo sa teammates niya. Actually, I was there also in Subic. Uh, I had the chance to watch all the games. Ang JRU, grabe sila mag-cheer sa teammates nila. Todo support na talaga. In the meantime, this is Trisha Reyes with the checkout. Reyes liking the sets of loot giving her on that spot again. Pero magkaiba ng discarding ngayon. Crazy Reyes, kanina cross-court. Ngayon pa-check out. Sobra lang yung serve na ito ni Loot. And that's what you don't want to do. If you're EAC, you're trying to create this momentum to create a bit of separation from yourself against our NJRU. Pero nag -e error ka. Yes, they have to keep in step with their opponents para hindi sila masyadong malamangan. Because remember, in the last game against Benil, medyo nahirapan ng EAC. They were they were head to head yeah. with Benil. Tapos when they would commit their errors, dun sila nawawala. That's right. Ultimate momentum stopper. Oh, Reyes. Reza Reyes has been unstoppable here in the opening set. What a spike from Reza Reyes. Earlier, she went for that cross court hit down the line, and then she went back to that cross court yeah. seeing that there was an open spot there. So, Reyes, though, will be coming from the back now as she serves. Here's your Reyes, second leading scorer of the AC last season. Back set, Meruiz. Mababa pa rin. Teyala. Oh, Teyala puts it down. On the side of EAC, sabi mo nga, unstoppable si Reyes, but Deyala has been carrying her squad for JRU. And again, Coach Mia might have found a gem in Nicole Deyala. Kasi siyempre, nakangahanap ka ng mga spikers na malaking chance talaga yes. makapatay ng bola. And, so and who far, can adjust? Yeah, that's right. And so far, it has been Nicole Deyala for JRU. Loot. Finding Almazan. Oh! Almazan with a swing. We are seeing a very, very different Almazan here, Martin, from their last game na medyo kinakapos siya. She's bringing her A game and her all in this match against JRU. Got Almazan, Crazy Reyes. The expected producers para dito sa EAC delivering so far. Jaja Villena. Laurente going to Hazareno and finally she gets that one down the line. 
if you could see the speed of her hit, that down the line hit, that was really fast. It could not be read by the blockers and also the defender. So, na established na ng konti in JRU yung mga scorers nila. Azareno, Deyala so far. Difficult pickup. Here's the swing. Oh, not gonna work for Omapas. Over to Almazan. Hazareno on the approach. Ball is still alive. Back set. Omapas will try. Picked up by Deyala. But the ball is gone. Jennifer Omapas is able to score. It's so early in the morning, but there's so much power coming from EAC. Omapas now from the opposite side going cross court. What a kill. What a kill indeed. She wanted that the first time. But she got another attempt and she delivered. Now she serves. One of the veterans of this team, Geno Mapas, who used to come off the bench. Oh, that is denied. Laurente this time choosing the back. Mm. Good coverage from JRU. Oh, oh. Hazareno. Hazareno trying to just place that ball on the other side where there was no one there. Pero kina was just a power as you can see from this replay. Good intention, Metro Rock execution to have that one. And then you gotta be careful with mm -hmm. that. Kahapon, or the other day, nakita natin ginawa yan ni Angel Habakon. Pero may found success yes. in that angle of speed. Good Angel Habakon, she's also a beach volleyball player. Yeah. Kaya talagang calculated niya yung moves niya inside the court. Yeah. So 12 to 13, again. EAC shooting themselves in the foot here as they commit, continue to commit errors, allowing JRU to stay within one. Del Pilar. Almazan! Oh. Nagagawan pa ang JRU. Hazarena will try, overshoots it. Oh no! She hits that spot! It's, good. it's yeah. in, it hits the line! Wow. Kaila Hazarena. Good placement. This time with a long ball. Yeah. Like alangan pa si Reyes to get that ball because they thought it was going out, but with the spin, with the contact that she had on that spike, it just went down perfectly. At tabla ulit tayo. Ngayon, abante na ang JRU. That was a double violation called on Luis. 14 to 13 and for Mendo. Secondary setter in itong EAC. Used to be the primary yes. setter coming in. She's not going to be the primary setter this season, at least in the first few games because of a left leg injury. But she's in early here. Omapas. Laurente. One hand set. set. Oh! Yeah. But Tar could not put that over. Yung nakakahina yan. Ang ganda nung safe set neto ni Laurente. But I love how Coach Mia responded to it. Like, she just raised her eyebrows. So, parang, sige, bawe. Uh, uh. <laughs> Man. 14 apiece. Laurente, pinabawi si Batara. But she is checked. Almazan. Ruiz with a pickup. Laurente, Hazareno, too strong this time. They're looking for a check. None given. Trying to go for that one. I love that she had the high contact, although it's too powerful, kaya talagang sobra sobra. She hasn't had the control mm -hmm. with her attacks today. Kasi kanina, wide. Yung pangalawa, sakto sa linya. Ayan, sobra. Her hitting point is good. Yeah. It's just that she has to adjust with the power she hits with. Oh, and patara. With it's a power tip. Yeah. Right there, and Pinabawe ng gusto ni Itay Laurente, si Kring Batara, who pays JRU against Perpetual with eight points. So she scores a point there. Let us see Hazareno. Batara, she knows that she has big shoes to fill. Yeah. So she's been working on that a lot. Oh, Check Umapa is able to find. The open spot, we go to our second technical timeout. We can see his first one there. Yeah, first one to 16. We'll be back in a bit.
bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Pinegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapo atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lindia sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabu Back to the coverage, the EAC Generals off to a fantastic start in the men's division. 2-0 right now. And of course, our friends here in San Pedro Sports Complex enjoying some solid volleyball action between EAC and JRU. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking some time out. These are all excuse students from their classes, so... They're allowed to show their faces <laughs> on cam. Hindi yung pag nakita ng prof ma dito ka mag-aalangan ka. Magtatago pa yun ng konti, magtatakip ng mga. Ito na si... Si Caliardes, yeah. Serving now. Team captain of EAC, Ada Caliardes. Ooh! Too low. Was that attempt by May Ruiz? Alam mo, Martin, I have been noticing how Ruiz has been playing uh, in this first set. Imagine she's struggling with the timing yeah. uh, with the ball. Pababa na kasi niya hit so her hitting point is too low already. Going, That's why it's going straight to the net. That's right. You saw earlier, now assistant coach and former Queen Bomber, Tali Verzosa. Mm, good serve. Ito si Ruiz, tignan natin, kumakabawi, mababa pa rin. This is a dig. Free ball for EAC. O mapas. Cross-court hit is too wide. Very powerful, but a little too much here for O mapas. Yeah. So, it remains close. 16 to 17. Laurente will start. Underhand river set. Ooh. Straight to the net for Reyes. Taplao ulit tayo. 17 all. We've been stuck in a deadlock since earlier this match. 
won't be surprised if we go to an extension in set number <laughs> one. Laurente still serving. Mm. Miscommunication on EAC's side. JRU will take advantage. Combination tip. <laughs> what a smart move from Ruiz. Knowing, of course, Ruiz, you know how powerful she can yeah. get. So, like, at the the defense of EAC, they did not expect that power, or that tip, rather. Let's go to Coach Rod. We have to work on first ball. Don't you worry about the first ball. What you're doing, you're trying to get the setter. The setter is going to get the setter. First ball, I'm just going to address the Italy coach Ron Palmero. It's true that you can't work with, you can't play without the first ball. Because yeah. how will you make those plays? How will that setter make those plays? Because what Coach Rod has been saying, yung middle nila yung kumukuha ng second ball. So yeah. it's something that they have to fix in this set. Dito si Almaza na yung kumuha. Reyes. So oh, that's a better setup for her. Oh. Ooh. EAC. Four touch violation. Villena accidentally touched that set from the setter. Yeah. Ito si Fermento. Oh, okay. Hit the side of yeah. Jaja Villena. Villena was going for a zero tempo, but yun nga, masyad yung angle ng yeah. setter and ng middle, kaya sila may intrusion doon. Villena couldn't convert. May Ruiz. Almazan with a pop-up. Good adjustment. Yeah. Fermento setting up the back. Here's the push. A chance again for JRU. Hazareno. Easy up. Reyes! Nope. Laurente. This time choosing Ruiz. Pinuhay pa rin ni Almazan. Ball is still in play. Hazareno with the off-speed. Buhay pa. Cordial with a save. Reyes. Oh, longest rally so far. Ruiz. Tip! Oh, oh. man, Ruiz with another tip. Ruiz with the smart on her hips. She's not only using her power, but she's really thinking about where to place those balls. Sabi niya, nagkakaproblema ako dun sa mga power hit ko. Sige, pe-placing muna ako. Lady Bombers are Five on a run. 5 to nothing run to establish this three-point lead. Patara. Again, Almazan with good floor defense. Omapas from the back. Not gonna work. Hazareno! Oh no, that's Eguera rather, like Eguera. With a swing, getting that one off the block. Eguera celebrating that point of hers, but what trust that Lorette gave her going for that down the line hit. 21 to 17, a JRU pulling away with some separation versus EAC. See if they can finish things off. Reyes with the counter. Off the hands of the blockers, Reyes really trying to power through that spike of hers. That ends a furious six to nothing run of JRU. The AC is back on the board. It's Anformento serving. Mm. Difficult first ball. Mm -hmm. Freebie for EAC. Ooh, running push. Went out. Still a good adjustment from Villena because that running set of hers was too low. If you can see it in this replay, Villena could not adjust to that one, although she tried. It was too low and it was it was too it wasn't too stretched. Yeah. So yung attempt niya had to be adjusted. Kring mm -hmm. Batara. Two points so far, 22, 18! Chance ball. It's JRU. Eguera. 
for Jal. Underhand setup for Umapas. Kinapos. It is 23 to 18 in favor of the Lady Bombers. And the AC is having all sorts of problems here. Pati yung mga atake nila na apektuhan na. Umapas tried to go drop that to the other side. As we hear this, uh, we hear this time off from Coach Mia. Ay, yung sumabay sa system. Tinabi na, ito lang gagawin nyo, ito lang. Tinan nyo, nahihirapan kayo. May tao na sa drop ball, ayaw pa tumrabaw sa drop ball. Huwag natin pahirapan na isa't isa. Meron tayong pinagagawa para isikuro natin. Ayaw natin gawin. Pasa. Kailangan ko ng pasa. Kailangan natin ng pasa. Same thing. Inadress ni Coach Ron. From the last game, actually, yung naging problem nila is the short ball. So, what I saw earlier, again, from the defense pattern nila. And from si Kirsha Reyes, sumasagad na siya sa blockers niya to get that drop ball. Kaso nga lang, hindi nila naaangat. So, first ball, receive, mm -hmm. tapos adjustment sa depensa na itong EAC. Ah, oh, Reyes, speaking of, responding of the timeout. Good response from her, but also from JRU before uh, we switch mics, we yeah. heard Coach Mia. Ang sabi niya, dapat pinapasok ang kamay kasi lumulusot lang mm -hmm. yung mga palo ng EAC. So it's an adjustment we have to see from JRU after that timeout. So dun, lumusot. Pero ito, it's a service error that will put JRU in some point situation. 24-19. Lady Bombers. Have a, has, they have a chance to take away set number one, but Omapa says not yet. Omapa's going for that down the line in, knowing that Ruiz was there at the back, challenging her hands over there. EAC. We'll see, though, if they can continue, usually... Yes, if they can save a set point Ayun. again. Pero ang problema nila, service. Mm -hmm. Their errors in yeah, general. Their errors, yeah. There's Jaja Villana. Oh, oh, that's too long. Passing them to end. This first set. Fifth service error for the EAC Lady Generals. And that last one will give the set to JRU. Now the Lady Bombers lead this game one set to none after winning set 125-20. We'll be back for set number two. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangan puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasama ng Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang labang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61 kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. 
Uno na nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Aira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa... Balik sa ating laban... After the first set, it is JRU winning at 25 to 20. You guys are joined by Martin Avier, Kaira Baroga here in the conference with our love de Jesus inside the San Andres Sports Complex in Manila. Set one natin, Kaira, we started with a seesaw battle. Palitan ng puntos, palitan ng tabla. Pero bandang hulik, bumitaw itong EAC. It was JRU who got a solid separation. Mm -hmm. That's set one. true, Martin. What you said nga, bumitaw. What we can see here from set one is the maturity of both squads, kung sino talaga ang kakapit. And who can minimize their errors, which we've been saying time and time again. Kasi a lot of the errors ni EAC, yun talaga yung nakapuntos yung JRU. And they have to work on their first ball, which Coach Rod has been talking about. That's right. Uh, you mentioned maturity which is ironic here in set number one because it's the younger JRU mm -hmm. team that's showing maturity here at yes. EAC. You know, they had they started to have problems. They got off to a promising start with Reyes and Almazan scoring alternately. Towards the end, they lost their composure, started to commit errors, and it, it was all downhill from there. All right, let's check out some of the numbers here. Imagine that. 11 yeah. double-digit unforced errors, including five service errors Netong EAC Lady Generals. So, ang legit points ng JRU, 14. Mm -hmm. Errors ng EAC, 11. They've been having a lot of errors, like um, service errors at that, and yung spikes nila laging naga out. So that's something that they have to adjust on and be more mindful of in order to win the second, st second set and then hopefully extend the match. In terms of attacks, Ayan nila makipagsabayin. Mas marami pa nga silang atake doon. Alright, one set to none lead for JRU. It's in Tay Laurente. Veteran setter na itong JRU starting it up. For Mento. We begin set two with Almazan swing. What a one-hand save by Laurente though. It's another chance for the Lady Generals. Combination. Uh, Almazan is checked for Mento with a push to the back. JRU's turn to set up. Mero ways with some hesitation. Almazan will try again. Yan Alonia wow. with a dig. Good defense from both yeah. squads right now. Uh, ito rin si Cordial. Meron ding dig. Omapas. Laurente tracking it down. Sending it to Ruiz. Again, good floor defense. Villano with a push. That's not going to work. Ruiz will try again, and this time, she is able to score. Ruiz, from that second to the last hit, she adjusted because it was too wide. Pero if you can see in this replay from our angle, sumilip pa siya. Mm. So depends on ang kabila to know where she would place the ball, and she got that point, Martin. Yeah. That's a good sign for May Ruiz, who struggled early in this match. Her first few attempts were all low. So EAC's turn to fight back here. And for Mento, who is still on the court ever since replacing George Lute earlier. She's back on the first six right now. Uh -oh. Oof. For Mento, setting up Pumapas. Sobra. 
she was already under that ball. So yeah, she should have just minimized the power she had on that one. That's why it went out. And again, the errors continue for EAC. To attack Oled Kring Batara. Serving. Pasa para kay Formento. Giving it to Omapas this time. And Omapas with the help of the net. Scores a point. A point is a point. Martin is still happy with that point of hers. Going for that cross court. Sharp cross court hit though. Medyo bumaba lang ball na kaya uh, hit the net. Yeah. Abawi kahit papano si Jen Omapas doon. To a piece, Kat Almazan only with three points. Got off to a hot start, but slowed down towards the end of set one. Ruiz Kinagahan kept alive by Laurente. And it is JRU of an adjustment by Laika Iguera. What an adjustment indeed, going for that one two punch there. Wow. From the block, then Laurente just got it and she just went for that ball. Again, a targeted a spot at the back. For Mento, over two. Pressure Reyes, who flies in for the kill. Reyes needs to be wide and awake in this game in order to win this second set. Because she is one of the players not heavily depended on by her team. And we know she can score in bunches. We've mm -hmm. seen it in the past. Very capable of scoring in the 20s, maybe 30s. So, kailangan siya magpakitang gilas dito. Lalong-lalo na pag nagsistruggle yung teammates niya. Hala Reno! He's able to put that one through. Good timing by Hala Reno. The blockers were quite deceived by her hit there because the ball was so high. Mm -hmm. Medyo na off timing din ang blockers and it was a good hit from Hala Reno. Very, very smart. Yeah. JRU so far, tightening the screws in the sets sa mga attackers nila. Omapas down the line. It is saved. Free ball for EAC. Fermento. Reyes down the line. Ruiz was right there again. Hazareno. We're seeing very good defense from both squads, although that was a double contact violation called on the setter. So, parehas na si George Lute. At si Anformento, natawagan na ng double contact dito sa EAC. Both setters of the Lady Generals getting called for the error. Laika Iguera. Oh, that's a good serve. Better pick up. Omapas down the line. Goes out. When you're trying to be aggressive, when you're a player or you're the team, when you know how much pressure mm -hmm. you have in this game, talagang tataas yung pag-aggressiveness yeah. mo pero minsan masyado ka nang gigil that what that is why you're committing the errors gets to your head now ooh i like it better gets it to EAC check up big gigil ka you tend to overdo things may nangyayari dito sa spikers ng EAC Geno Mapas so be coming from the back which means we get Kat Almazan or Christian Reyes on this side. The quick, it's too low. Far contact violation called on JRU. Del Pilar, yun natawagan doon. This is a tall player Coach Mia has in Patricia Pat Del Pilar, 5'11. She's only on her second year. Second year. Imagine how much potential she has now pag sa last playing year niya, what Coach Mia can do with her. Yeah, na-develop pa siya. Yes. Formento. Reyes. Formento again. Back to Reyes she goes. Ruiz was at the back. Hazareno. They're finally getting the short balls here for EAC. Omapas. Ooh, difficult. Dig. That was too strong on the dig for Ruiz. He was able to take advantage. Coach Rod. 
Di ba? Sabihin niyo na oh, ayan oh, i-drop ko. Oh, ayan, ipapaluin niyo diyan. Dito dadalhin niyan. Para na si secure niyo, galaw nga si ni secure natin. Iyan ang ini-scout natin, ha. Dan yan ha, wag na kayo magulat, wag na kayo magulat. Explain niyo na lahat ng na-scout niyo lalabas. Ha? Secure natin sa ganun. Ha? Para at least makita natin paano natin gagalawan, ha? I like what Coach Ron say na abangan yung galaw and wag na magulat kasi inaral nila for sure all the teams here uh, in the NCAA nag-viewing kasi yan based on my experience nag-viewing kami before our game so this is their chance to actually apply mm -hmm. what they studied with the break that they had and yun sabi ni Coach wag na kayo magulat kasi pinag-aralan nyo na yan alam nyo yan lalabas yung inaral nyo dyan and of course, hindi rin naman iba yung igagalaw ng JRU. Oh, it's a free ball. Formento Reyes puts it down. Crazy Reyes is starting to hum. Back to back points for her. He's finally heating up here, going for that hit in the middle. Little help from the net. Ruiz was already in the down the line area. So, Shanin Preta. Is in for the first time para sa Lady Bombers, replacing May Ruiz. Preta is, I think, the sister of a former basketball player in the NCAA, Spencer Preta, who played for San Sebastian in LPU. EAC had the lead, they committed a service error. This is what we've been talking about again, Martin. Yung mga errors talaga sa services ng EAC. It's their services and their first ball. Yeah. So, Sana ma-adjust talaga nila in this game because they are very well matched J with JRU. That's right. Quick attack. Oh, Magalona is denied by Del Pilar. And then, Greg Patara, I should say, got the block right there. Eight to seven, first technical timeout. We'll go to Our Love de Jesus after the break. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si John Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World. Welcome back, mga kapuso. You are still watching the NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament for the season 99. The game between the EAC Lady Generals and the TRU Lady Bombers. I am Marla Bess, who is working on the sideline. 
headline since this is a new season. There are a lot of new faces as well. At the side of the city and lalong isip from the GRU Lady Bombers when I spoke to her, she insisted na hindi madali maging libero kasi nasa sa kanila daw mauuna yung decision sa loob ng court. And as a rookie, isa siya sa mga talagang cheerer ng grupo. Lagi niya raw sinasabi sa mga ate niya sa loob ng court na kaya yan mga ate walang bibitaw kasi hindi raw sila tinuruan na bumitaw agad. On the side of the EAC Lady Generals, they also have new recruits. And according to Rhea Magalona, they are all doing well and they are even scouting for more talents within their group. At alam niya ba Martin and Gaira Nagpalit ng number si Kat Almazan from number 13 to number 8 para raw mawala ang bad luck niya. And actually, no first year siya, number 8 na rin ang number niya. Bumalik lang daw siya ulit on her last playing year sa EAC. Balik sa inyo, Martin and Gaira. Yan pala yun. Ano ko, lucky 13. <laughs> diba? I love that though. She's going back to where she came from. Na first year, 8 yung number niya. So, on her last year, yun din yung number na gusto siyang makilala. So going back on also what our love said, thank mm -hmm. you for your report, our love. Yung sinasabi niya about lalong isip, na so even yeah. though she's a first year, talagang very aggressive na siya, uh. and she's doing a lot of things for her team. Kasi say, kamukhang kamukha niya yung sister niya, um, who also plays for Adamson. Adamson, yes. there you go. So coming from, well, silang dalawa ng kapatid niya, nag-volleyball, si Rayan Lalong Isip. Hails from Pauan, Batangas. Legit first year player to. Freshman talaga. Ooh, Patara. Was checked at the net. Ball is still in play. Almazan, nasa likod. Ang hirap nung kuha. Good save from Lorente. Na na she hit her head on the floor, but yeah. she's still going. Oh, yeah. And she here she is again. Preta. Formento. Oh, mapas. Oh, overcooks it. Another error from EAC going high and wide with those hits. I do understand how they are very powerful. You can see from their physique, from their body language, talagang may ibubuga sila. It's just that there are times that's too much. Yeah. Consistency. Yung sa mga atake nila. That's the word, Martin. Yeah. Consistency. They need that. Villena. Wow, what a save from the libero. That was Yanyan Alonia. Almazan. Oh. Counter dig by Laurente, although that one went straight to the net. And on is a day job of set number one. But what a save yeah. again from Alonia. Almazan from the opposite side, Laurente got that. And ang ganda ng abang nitong Alonia sa... Ah, kasi alam niya natatama sa net. Uh, yeah. Alam niya eh. Yes. Yan ang dumikit na yung bola. And Alonia, one of the vets of this JRU team. This is a free ball given by Preta. For Mento now, choosing Almazan, who had to adjust. Nothing there. Preta will try. Preta! Wow! Oh, that drops in. For Shanine Preta. Preta really smart with that hit. She knew that there was a spot there and she just used that. Nagaalangan na tong EAC with the long balls. And look. It's not that strong, that hit, but it was high, and sh it was such good placement. Saktong sakto sa linya on the line. We both thought it was gonna go yeah, out. We thought it was long. Kasi palubup eh. That's the beauty of pop spin, ang tawag namin sa volleyball. Pag maganda yung pop spin mo, bigla biglang bababa yung bola mo. Number eight in her final year. We were talking about earlier na yung soft top spin on the side of JRU. Almazan, she was really hitting it with so much power. Sharp hits. Oh, Preta this time oh. from the middle. And Shanine Preta. You know what? JRU has a lot of promise in these young players. We saw Diana earlier. Now it's Shanine Preta showing us the power. Coming from the bench at that, yeah. Magic Bunot ang tawag doon, Martin. That's right. Preta had only two points against Perpetual. Now, she has surpassed that mark. Service ace. Wala kay Shanine Preta. This is the first ace of the match. 
for both teams. Wow. So it took us a set and almost half a set. That means the reception is really good for both squads. Yeah. So Shanine Preta proving to be a difference maker. And there we are, the service error coming from Preta overshooting. So 12 to 13. EAC is not out of it just yet. It's still close. Pero kung pagbabasihan natin ang resulta ng set number one, dito sila nagsimulang bumitaw. Razonable is inside for Coach Rod. Entering the game for the first time, ito si Chacha Villena. Casareno swings and puts it down. GRU with the placement of the ball. Kasi yun nga, hindi palakasan eh. Kung saan nila dadalin yung ball. You can see it's not that hard. Pero may target sila na napupuntahan na hindi na aabangan nitong EAC. That's the second time she's done that. Talking about Kyla Hazareno. Also did that in the first set. Back set for Romapas. Kinargahan. Hazareno will try. Popped up by Formento. Underhand. Back to Romapas. And she scores. Her own version of a long ball targeting the spot. She's using JRU's tactic against the against them. 13. Serving 14. Second set action. Four points for Jen Omapa so far. Oh. Same problem for EAC. We, they need consistency in this match and also service perfection. You know, Martin, usually what we do, pag kinakabahan ka, mm -hmm. pag kinakabahan ka mag-serve, kahit mahina, ipasok mo lang muna and then build. Just build your trust in yourself right after. That's right. Yun yun eh. Pag, pag ganito karami na yung service yes. error mo, siguraduhin mo na lang na ipasok mo yung serve. Razonable eh. Oh, slicing through that JRU defense. Coach Ron looking for his own magic. Who not as Razonable goes for that cross court kill. Also, Razonable, who was an off the bench player as mm. well and started only in the third set against Benil, scored four points. Yeah. And to, capable scorer, to. Ito si Razonable. Also with the jump serve, pero. So it's another service error, stopping the momentum of EAC that will put us back to our break here. Second technical timeout in set two. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si John Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Senizang ay kaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. 
Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, ipinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan, ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics. ating laban si R.U. versus D.A.C. That's a, that's a nice shot right there. Caught by Abed Ramos. Pagkatabi. Logo nitong J.R.U. and E.A.C. But D.A.C. Okay. So far. Total. Total. We have 14 service errors in this match. We're not even done yeah. with set number two. EAC has committed nine. nine. JRU, five. five. Okay. Right. But it's hurting EAC more. Because yes. the timing of service error nila, yun yung mas masakit. They've been having more possessions of the ball. Is that? Wala pa silang attempts. Mm. Sa unang start, unang attempt pa lang for the serve error again. Oh God. Almazan, tap the line. For Almazan. Almazan really going for the down the line kill since early in this match. That has been her best hits. So Captain Almazan able to get the point back for EAC. Let us see Adagaliardes, captain of the Lady Generals this season, in to serve. That's what they need. Just a solid serve. Lalong isip. Gives up the free ball. For Mento. Almazan uh, puts it down. Back to back. For Almazan. Almazan finally having the energy here. In this set, she has been doing and making a lot of points for her squad. Can they sustain this momentum? Talking about EAC. It starts, or it starts with their serve. Mm, as I say that, Galliardes commits the error. With their 10th service error of this match. What we've been talking about earlier, itong JRU and EAC, because of their service errors, mas konti ang JRU because they would make an attempt first. So let's say, isang player maka three services. Mm -hmm. Yung third service na yun yung mag error uh, On the side of EAC naman, sa first attempt pa lang nila, dun na agad sila nag error right. Kakapuntos pa lang din nila. Off an attack. Pagkatapos mag error Oh! Almazan is now checked. Back row hit from Razonable. Joust. Joust. Overreaching. Ah, There's an overreaching violation called on EAC. Talking to oh, oh. referee Glenn Hindi Flores. Hindi niya pa naman, wala pa sa gitna eh. Isa-set uh -huh. niya pa, tinuha niya lang. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what the referee was saying, that the ball was not fully over the net yet. So Lorente had the chance to do a one-hand set. Kaso pinasok na ng kamay. Uh, pinasok na ng blockers ang kamay nila. Kaya hindi na set ng maayos ni Lorente. So after two straight of VAC, dalawang sunod mula sa JRU. This time it's Batara committing the error. Batara with a good intention on that one to drop it over after that block. Masimala, too aggressive. So, Ring Batara. So, Anformento is back to serve. 
This has been their weak spot in the game. 17 to 18. Laurente. See, 10. 10 yeah. unforced, unforced errors. errors. So both sets so far for EAC, double digit. Yung unforced errors nila. For Mento. Alamazan! Ball is still in play. Prata will try. Popped up by Rasunable. Almazan. Good hit. Napabasa na ni Lalong Isip. Prata again! Prata. Prata, the magic uno of JRU. Ito tumama yata si Neto. I think it was going out though. It was a check ball. Yeah. 1917. Batara. A loop. Oh, Del Pilar. Regalo. And the net. Showing that she is in charge on the front row. Wow. That was a smart dump. Let's go to Coach Rod. Service natin, huwag niyong katakutan kung ano yung scout niyo, kailangan niyong gawin. Pangalawa, pag nagkamali sa service lang, isecure sa pasa. Huwag niyong hayaan na yung bola ay mahihirap ang isip. Kailangan itaas na at mapapalo pa, okay lang. Pero yung tatapon yung bola, wala na makapagset mali yan. Jennifer, huwag magalangan. Tanggalin ang pag-aalangan. Kailangan niyo ilabas yung kumpiyansa niyo para yung kilos niyo. Clear from yes. Coach Rod. The main takeaway: Wag magalangan. Do uh, not hesitate when you're moving. Because I think that's the reason why they're actually making errors. Yeah. When they second guess themselves when, with what they're doing, na biglang nag change yung direction mm. ng katawan nila. Pag nagigin tentative sila. We're we're hearing a lot of good comments from Coach Rod. I mean, maramis yung sabi sa players niya na adjustments yeah. and what to do. It's just that many players It's been like that since set number one. He's been addressing those concerns since set number one, and so far, the response has been minimal. Getting Batara with the ace. That's another good serve. Loot. Oh, Almazan is rejected. Good net defense by JRU. Oh, right in the middle. Rasonable makes that point. Smart move. Flying in for the off-speed hit. Saktam Sakto on that campfire hole in the defense of JRU. 18-21. Almazan with already seven points in this match from seven attacks alone. Del Pilar. Oh, showing us the versatility on offense. Razonable. Pinalik sa side ng EAC. Cordial. To Omapas. Too strong for Omapas. She has been struggling with her hits as well in this match. You'd think by now that you know she's already adjusted to yes. her swings. Pero malakas pa rin ang binibitawan dito ni Jen Omapas. Also in this game, you can see how composed JRU has been playing on yeah. the side of EAC. They have so much pressure right now that they haven't been getting their groove. Yeah. As we have another error here coming from EAC from Razonable. Exactly on one cue. Razonable with the attack error. Tried to angle it. Sinubukan uh, i-cross court. Iiwas dun sa blockers. But you know you have a lot of power hitters here. You do. For yeah, EAC. They do, they do, yeah. You have Omapas, you have Razonable, you have a lot of players. Almazan. It's yeah. just that yun nga yung groove nila hindi nila makuha. JRU on a five to one run. Omapas off the hands Good of the save. blockers. Yeah. JRU hindi talaga sumusuko. Good defense from Almazan. Loot to Razonable. Popped up by Hazareno. And here she comes. Oh, Corinthian was there to dig it. Villiana with a free ball. Lady Bombers on the attack. Hazareno. Good touch. Yeah, that was checked. 
Lut Villiana denied by Del Pilar. Razonable as play continues here. One of the longest rallies we've had so far. What a rally indeed. Cross court. So. Ended by an error on this IMJ. Are you? Ending a long rally with this attack error. You, she saw that there were already two blockers right in front of her. Na abang na abang na na sa kanya. Yeah. So she went for that cross court, although masyadong malayo yung lihis right. niya dun. So 1923. Okay, pang AC sa second set. Better serve. Here is Hazareno. Oh! Omapas got to the ball. Omapas with her back. Payok na payok, Martin. Sobrang ganda ng... Tignan mo yun. Ang ganda ng timing niya and also parang na pinasok yung hands niya inside the court. Inside the net, rather. Good block coming from Jen Omapas. The AC will get their second straight point. Villena. Good serve. Sinigurado. Here's the back set. Aguera with the push. Easy up. Razonable. Denied. Del Pilar coming alive for her squad here. As she is the main net defender, the middle blocker on the side of JRU. Ang ganda rin ang dikit niya doon. Set point. JRU. Timeout DAC. Coach Jerry. <laughs> okay, letting, letting the girls, the girls talk. Yeah. yeah. But I like what Gallardo said na maging mautak or dumiskarte sila in front of the uh, when they're hitting. Kasi totoo naman, you have two big blockers in front of you. Why would you hit the ball towards them? Yeah, Ilihis sure. nyo. Yeah. So that was a good instruction from Gallardo. So let's see if they'll respond here. Pazareno to end set number two. That was a good hit from Pazareno using the hands of the blockers, or Mapas rather, her fingertips. JRU is nearing their first win in season 99, winning set 2, 25 20. They now lead the match, two sets to none. We'll be back after a quick break. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangan puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasama ng Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang labang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. 
Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61 kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49 kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at... Back to our coverage, identical sets, 25-20, 25-20. Pero isa lang po, yung team na nanalo sa parehong sets, JRU leads it two sets to none in the match. Martin Avier with Kaira Baroga here in the broadcast. And it was almost the same story, Kaira, yes. what happened in set number two. EAC letting go of the rope. At the middle, courtesy of their errors, and JRU taking advantage. You can just see that JRU was so much more composed versus EAC here. EAC was struggling again with their services, unforced errors. Ang pinag-uusapan natin, Martin, talagang they have to find their confidence in, th in themselves. Kasi sabi nga ni Coach Rod, huwag kayo mag-hesitate, huwag kayo mag-alangan sa sarili niyo. Yeah. At iba-iba ang pumupuntos para dito sa JRU. Kyla Hazareno ended set number two. But Preta, when she entered, provided quality minutes. Del Pilar at the middle also got a few points for EAC. A lot of scorers as well, but more errors on EAC's side. Yun talaga yung uh, naging masakit para sa kanila so far in this match as we take a look at that rejection from JRU. All right, quick number here of the 50 points total so far of JRU. Alos kalahate mula sa unforced errors nitong EAC. In total, the Lady Generals have 23 unforced errors in the match. 10 service errors out of those uh, 23. Yeah, so we've been talking about earlier, they have to minimize their errors. They have to just manigurado muna sila yeah. bago to take those big risks and build their trust in, the, in each other and in themselves. That's almost a set mm -hmm, given away. Yeah by uh, the EAC Lady Generals. And again, Coach Rod, you know, he's been putting a lot of emphasis on that in his timeouts, but his players have been slow to respond. Third set, they're trying to stay alive in the match. We'll see if they can win it here or if JRU can close it out already. Hazareno will Start, no changes. Para dito sa... Oh, no, May Ruiz is back on the floor for JRU. But the EAC sticking with his lineup. Hmm. And oh. they score the first point. Hey, check pa dun. Sila yung isip. But of course, Lalo Isip just laughing it off. What a hit there, using the hands of the blockers. Yeah. Oof. But we haven't been talking, we've been talking about the spikers a lot. Yeah. I just want to talk about Lorente. How great her defense is and her ball distributions. Yeah. A lot of her teammates, napaka, napag attack points niya na, adami na. You have one, two, you have five players already with a lot of attack points. So, Lorente, you have to credit her for her great skills here with the distribution of her balls. All around the tongue setter. And Jay, are you again one of the veterans, one of the few veterans on this side showing the leadership on the court through her performance? Speaking about leadership, Martin, right. I had the chance to talk to Coach Mia. Ang sinabi niya sa akin, ang inaasahan niya tao talaga in terms of leadership is Lorente. Yeah. Yes, and Hasareno. Although they are not graduating players yet, next year they will be graduating. Pero sinabi ni Coach Mia, sila ang dalawang talaga iniisip niyang may leadership sa loob ng court. And you've, you've seen that so far. You know, Hasareno has been vocal on the court. Laurente has been spectacular. 
on her floor defense, you mentioned her digging, the way she tracks the ball down, and her playmaking as well. Here's Aguera. Meantime, EAC is on top. Del Pilar puts it away. Del Pilar has been playing really well in this match from her blockings to her attacks. She has been, she had an ace earlier. She has been doing really, really well, Martin. Promising prospect. It is a JRU idol nito ni Del Pilar. Oh. Local, Majoy Baron. <laughs> The very, the very well-known Majoy Baron. Oh. Diba? Gandang uh, role model para kay Del Pilar. Ang taas din ng reach ni Del Pilar. Ang taas. Grabe yung hands niya. And her leaping ability yes. as well. Oh, wow. Santa Rita. Aguera scoring all of the hands of Almazan over there. Going for that cross court. And just like that, in a snap, JRU overtakes. Yeah, is he unable to capitalize on that fast start? Loot to Almazan. Two-handed push will not work. Hazareno oh, puts it hit. down. Kaya Hazareno is able to get the groove. Gumit na yung bola dun sa mga blockers ng EAC. We've been talking about it earlier. Like I said, Lorente, talagang na, she's giving chances to everyone. Pero si Hazareno, siya yung talagang gigil na gigil to make those points. And kabi yung celebration niya. She has been a game changer in this match, That's Martin. Right. Her energy. Talagang na uh, nagbibigay ng kumpiyansa sa kanya mga kakampi dito. She's been vocal, active, jumping. And it translates in her game. Total unforced error so far. Naka isang set na po. Oh! Itong EAC. That's one set given away already by the Lady Generals. But they answer here with this attack from Katakazan. That was such a good save from Alonia, although Del Pilar mentioned Nagulat Shadon. We've been talking about Del Pilar earlier. She's only in her second year. Yeah. So the mistakes she commits, medyo. Hilaw pa. Hilaw pa. Pero yeah. isipin mo, Martin. Wow, what a save! Oh, it's alive and through. Aguero with that foot save and... Wow! JRU gets that point. Everyone was so shocked. From barely getting it across to denying that EAC attempt. What a point for the Lady Bombers. How about this? The kick by Aguero. And Lorente also with her reflexes yeah. putting that over. And look at this, EAC sets it up. Patel Pilar again with her hands. Right there at the net, interfering the attempt. Going back to Del Pilar, yung sinabi natin yung mga errors niya, medyo hilaw pa. Pero isipin mo, if she's on her fourth year, fifth year, yeah. what kind of player would coach me up with you? And what nag error naman to sa Del Pilar, bumabawi siya. Yes, definitely. Six to one run for JRU. It was EAC who actually got the better start here in the third set. They were up 3 to 1. Or, th yeah. And then 2 1 pala. 2 1 kanina. Oh, paon. Wow, Pero good buhay. coverage. Isa pa. Para kay Almazan. And this time she makes sure of the point. Almazan finally scoring down the line, which has been her favorite spot in this match. No one was there to get that. Good recovery from Kat Almazan. Also, Lorente, hindi na siya nag-block because she thought medyo awkward na kasi yung approach ni Almazan. Mm. But she still made a way to make that to make that attack very aggressive. Yeah. Lorente. Hazareno! From the middle, she is all around today, Martin. That puts us... Our first technical timeout, but we gotta take another look from the middle. You mentioned Hazareno connects. It's JRU 8, EAC 4. On the other side of the break, we'll have Arlo de Jesus. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Heidelin Diaz. 
Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangan puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasama ng Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category... Welcome back mga kapuso, you are still watching the NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament for the season 99 in the East Lane Gentlemen. We are here with Bob and I am all of this who's working on the sidelines. Three O's ang laging paalala ni Coach Mia Chaseco sa GRU Lady Bombers. Overpower, overkick, and overkang hindi raw lagi pwede na gusto lang manalo. Kailangan daw yan, samahan ng gawa. At trabaho sa loob at labas ng court. On the other side for the EAC Lady Generals, Coach Rod Palmero also reminded the girls to be efficient and confident kasi kaya naman daw nila. At higit sa lahat, huwag daw gamitin ang sariling emosyon kasi ayan daw ang problema na rin nila last season. 98 all for now, Martin and Gaira. Maraming salamat, our love, precisely. We talk about Coach Rod Palmero. You know, he knows the problems of this team. Also, still... Yeah. Ang galing ng mga reports ni Arlove. Talagang on point lahat ng stories niya. Yeah. Coach Rod was saying earlier nga sa timeout niya, remember yung hesitation. Pero they have to be, that's the word, efficient in what they're doing. And one of the most efficient players na itong EAC is Crisia Reyes who connected there. 10 points for Kat Almazan today. Better serving so far for the Lady Generals. Oh, regalo. Hazareno uh, again! Uh, 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 uh. What a smart block. Regalo that is for her. That was such a gift. Very big. Bumalik eh. Ruiz with the attempt. Sobre yung dig. Hazareno with perfect anticipation. What a spark plug Hazareno is in this match. Yeah. And she now comes from the back. Mm, Galerdes doesn't convert. Ruiz will try. They go to Reyes. Crazy Reyes scores. Mataas ang porcento ang pinupuntahan ni Anthony Lute si Crazy Reyes. She has so much confidence in herself and she knows what to do with the ball. Yeah. And again, she's done a lot of work in the off season. You see it in her body structure now. Talagang fit na fit yung itsura nito ni Chris Reyes. Galliardes, oh that's a nice serve. Oh, ball is tracked down though by Laurente. Laurente playing really well in this match also. Yeah. She is such a fast setter. Yeah. And look at that set, feeding it to the middle yeah. even though it was <laughs> such, it wasn't the perfect pass. That's right. Laurente, this time goes to Ruiz. Oh, Mia Ruiz with a swing. Good hit from Ruiz. Almazan was already on the floor on that one. She quite literally crawled yeah. for that ball. 10 to 7 for JRU. This third set is very far from, well, a little far from what happened in set one and set two. 
natablahan tayo pero susubukan lumapit dito ng EAC Jaja Villena Villena finally scoring from that running hit which she loves na she was trying to adjust to earlier but the set that was given to her now was perfect yeah. and again they need to activate Villena more this is a player that can that could give EAC some more points but it continues for EAC their service error Talking about Villena again, she has to be activated. Mm -hmm. That's what you said, and that's correct. But how will they do that? They have to fix their first ball. That's right. Like, si simula talaga sa magandang unang pasa. In sa reception ng EAC. There we go. That's Power better, tip. Yeah, better execution. Ruiz. Uy, tumawed. Lorente and then <laughs> Ruiz. Wow. Yeah. Del Pilar, what wow. a block. Back row hit for Almazan. Laurente this time goes to Ruiz again. Too low. The timing of the ball with Ruiz. She said sorry to Coach Mia because he knows that off timing she done and Coach Mia just to me niya sa nang si Coach Mia na itaas niya yung contact niya. Yeah. So nine to eleven. Oh, Laurente, ten excellent sets. Four excellent picks. Kita mo, playmaking and floor defense. She's been su playing such a good game today. Yeah. Lalong isip. Underhand set up to the back. Almazan. Ah, oh, she wanted that. You saw it from her approach. And you saw it from her landing after she scored that point. She really, really loved her head going for a little swag of her own. Got Almazan. Ooh. All fierce. Yeah. Mataas na porsyento ay bigay sa midden. Kita mo, sakta yung kaya niya yung counter-attack, hindi mo binigay sa kanya, binato mo kay Jennifer. Mas mabagal yun eh. Kwatro natin di direct, di ba? Gapang. Kita mo, inaabutan siya ng blocker. Ginagapang niyo yung bola, ay tinaangat yun, tinaangat yung bola. Pagkapangin niyo yung bola para di abutan ng midden. Naintindihan? Hindi puro malakas. Kahit power tip lang, kailangan lang may baba agad na mabuti. I love what Coach Rod said. Uh, Wag nyo isipin yung kabanyo. Yeah. Isipin nyo yung objective. Which is, for them, of course, is to win this match and to play well. But what he specifically said earlier, bakit hindi binigay sa middle? They have to activate and utilize their middle blockers in this match. So we'll see if they will respond. Ito. The pickup. No, hindi get na pinuntahan. That's a promising hit from Almazan. Ruiz. Ito na. Loot will activate the middle. Free ball. Reyes was right there. Sent back. Another chance. Luyena oh. adjusting. Ngayon naman binibigay lahat ng setter sa middle na lang. Oh. Del Pilar. Her turn. Not gonna work. Almazan. Oh, that's an error on JRU. So... EAC is able to climb back. They scored three straight to equalize set three. Almazan being more consistent in this match, in this set rather, yeah. which is what they really need in order to extend to a fifth set. Crazy Reyes will start. Good serve. Laurente. Ruiz approaching. Oh, Reyes keeps it alive. Lalong Isip, the pass to Laurente. Combination! Wow! Oh, what a play from Laurente! Everyone was going... If you can see the play here, in this replay, what a, what a dive first by Reyes yeah. in that hit. Dolphin dive. But what you can see here from this replay, inaabangan na nila si Ruiz kasi alam nilang iikot, but they didn't know Hasareno was going for a back quick. Yeah. That was Iguera. Okay. Iguera, right? Iguera. Services coming from me, Ruiz. So after the three to nothing run of EAC, JRU counters with two straight. Eight points. Much better game for JRU's captain. Mm, still alive. It's good. Yeah, it's good. 
set up here for JRU. Dan Pilar. Ball is still in play. Isa pa para sa JRU. Combination for Hazareno. One hand save. That's a good save for Dendres. Almazan. Oh, Alonia was right there. Hazareno. Dendres uh, puts it up. Almazan. Oh. This time. Gets some more power to get it through the blockers. You know that she's fired up right now. Right after all her hits, she's going to go for that stare down. And again, ang stare down, hindi lang siya pagyayabang. Pero ang stare down, it gives, yourself, it gives you like more confidence in yourself. Look at that fierceness from Almazan. Yeah. That lingering look after she landed. Pero Martin, did you know, pag nag-aangas ang isang teammate mo, minsan doon ka rin kumukuha uh, ng power eh. That's right. Hindi nalang nasubtan. Uh, uh, Service error mo na dito kay Villiana. But 12 points today for Kat Almazan. 12 attacks alone. Eh? Yeah. Pero tama ka doon. That, that could Kasi get when, your team going. Yes. Yeah. When you know na parang ipaglalabang ka ng isang teammate mo, ay gusto ko rin lumaban. Oo, uh, yeah. Mas kumpiyansa ka. Service ace. Wow, and JRU is starting to hum here in set number three, Laika Eguera. Everyone has been contributing yeah. for the side of JRU. Medyo mahihirapan tayo to look for our player of the game kasi grabe yung distribution ng bola from their attacks. Yeah. Also on the side of EAC, they are slowly but surely getting their groove back. So hopefully we see an extended match here. Yeah. 13 to 15, EAC down. By a couple of points, coaching staff of JRU with Coach Mia, Coach Larry, Champion former Queen Bomber, Dolly Verzosa. Coach Larry is the coach of Larry Siok is the coach of the men's team. Oh. Another service error here, leading us to our second technical timeout. 16-13. After a few minutes. Yung pinagbubuntis mo. Wala siyang kakayasan. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Pinegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho. Balik sa ating laban. 16-13 in favor of JRU. EAC. 14 service errors today and just two and a half sets.
been their main problem. Yes, hopefully we see a better EAC squad here with their body language, which I've been seeing. Almazan has been starting it for her squad yeah. now. Ganaten. This is very much still doable for EAC. Oh, Batara. Pedro hit Reyes. Oh, sent back by Ruiz. Ball is still in play. De Andres. They go to Almazan who scores. Del Pilar tried to save that. But couldn't get to it faster. Almazan. I love how she changed direction in the last minute. Yeah. Both blockers were going for that, for defending that cross court. Nakita niya, and she just swiped it to that down the line. Made Almaz it look easy. Yes, yeah, uh -huh. she, she also has nine excellent digs in this match. That's right. Mangagaling na siya sa likod niyan. Umapas. Uy, using the net. Lorente saw that. Hazareno. Around si Umapas sa likod. Almazan. Laurente, Batara! Batara with big, big shoes to fill. Pero she has been doing really well in this match. In the past two matches yeah. of JRU, this being the second. This is a formidable front line for Coach Mia. You got Del Pilar who's showing a lot of promise. Pati si Batara. Ang laki din ang potential. Hazareno. Loot over to Reyes. Her turn to score. Much needed from EAC. But can they keep it going? They're down by two. Ada Galliardes. Galliardes also, her leadership was really good yeah. in the timeout earlier. Hopefully she carries it over now. But there was a violation. It was actually outside the Galliardes, but a Kedona referee also. Wrong rotation. Mm. Wrong rotation. It means that there was an overlapping na ng yare before the service even happened. Yeah. More errors from the AC side. I feel like they've had. Everything happened to them in this game. 30. 30 unforced errors. Whoa. More than a set. Given up here by the Lady Generals, but they get one right back. EAC just needs, first of all, they need confidence in themselves that they can actually do what they, they can win yeah. if, they're, if they're number two consistent with what they're doing. That's right. They haven't won a set in uh, season 99 so far in two games. Four excellent sets for George Loot. Happy sila dito ni Anformeto sa playmaking duties. Service ace! First service ace for EAC today. Hopefully we see a lot more of that from all the players here of EAC. What a great target though. That was in the middle of yeah. the two players. The targeting from George Lute. Our count for the Aces. 4 to 1. Another loaded serve. It's back to back Aces for George Lute. And now we are all tied up at 18. Bit of a fight back. Coach Mia, I can add it. Or dig, basta itaas lang muna natin sa gitna. Huwag nyo nang pilitin, hanapin muna si Inday kasi sumushoot tayo sa net. Okay? So dito lang muna natin dalhin. Okay? Kaya naman habulin ni Inday. Kakaintindihan? Easy. Isa-isa tayo. Isa-isa. One good reception na. Taas lang natin. Very calm. Yes. Si Coach Mia, tawag actually sa kanya. I'm not sure if it's on the now. Tawag sa kanya, teacher Mia. And you can see how much of a teacher she is sa mga timeouts. Yeah, very calm, very collected. And I like what she has been noticing na JRU has been trying to force perfect balls mm -hmm. to, to Lorente. Which, yun, nag-overshoot na nga siya sabi ni Coach Mia dito sa side ng opposite side. Mm -hmm. So siya sabi nila, bring it forward. Si, bahala na si Inday. Bahala na si Lorente maghabol nun. Makukuha naman niya. Yes, uh -huh. she's very, very fast. 
But that's not a good first ball for JRU. Wow, what a dig by Yana Alonia. Alonia and Lalong Isip playing really well in this match. Reyes gets denied. Three to nothing run for EAC. Oh! Ended by that third block from JRU. Jerumapas, the push. Abang Ruiz. And the set was too near the net already, but that was good. Ang ganda ng abang ni Ruiz doon. Jen Silverio. Batara already with five points off yeah. of three attacks, a block, and an ace. Silverio entering the game for the first time para sa Lady Bombers. Replacing Pat Del Pilar. Here's Kring Batara. Again, solid play today. Back to back games already. Oh, free chance ball. Lady Bombers have an opportunity. Couldn't do it. Reyes. That's oh, still alive. No, what Lorente. a save, Lorente. Wow, Reyes. Oh, but of course, Dinawa ng paraan ng EAC. Reyes going for that soft touch. How about this? What a save by Indai. Look at that. The floor defense of JRU is just on point in this match. But Reyes, of course, challenging the blockers. Guiding that ball. Sending it to the other side. Grabe. Reverse style with one yes. hand while she was almost sitting down. Grabe si Lorente. <laughs> Ruiz. Popped up by Reyes. That's still good. So good. 19 all. A chance to take the lead for EAC. Omapas. Oh, oh, no one could get oh. to that. This would have been like so bilis ni Lorente. That was supposed, that ball was not supposed to be hers. That's supposed to be either the sweepers or especially the libero. But look, ang taas ng ball. Siya pa yung umabot. Aabutan niya sana. But a 5 to 1 run for the Lady Generals will allow them to take the lead in set three. Oh! Another service error coming from EAC. 20 all. Nerves starting to kick in. Crucial part of set number 15 three. 15 service errors coming from EAC. Oh. Oh. Alonia. The pass to Laurente. Back set to the ala. Good defense. Up. Almazan. Aldoña with a dig. And here comes Hazareno. And it hits the right spot. Just at the corner pocket of EAC's side of the court. 21 20. JRU is back on top. Hazareno has been a master of the long ball today. Corner pocket, Martin. Yep. What a perfect target. 21 20. Ruiz. How will EAC answer? That's how. Almazan. Almazan says <laughs> not yet, and she wants to extend this match, of course, into maybe a fifth set going high and scoring off the hands of Ruiz. Yeah, she's been more efficient. At that here in set number three, 21 all. Jaja Villena. Good serve from Villena. She has been actually consistent. Yeah. With her serve. Glad to see Almazan. High ball. Oh. Trying to go for that down the line. Too much power swiping it to the left. It's been a bread and butter today. But it's a good defense of GRU because you have two blockers already going for that cross oh, yeah. court. Ruiz is already in the down the line, so she doesn't have butas. That's right. All covered. Nabantayan doon si Almazan. Natulit siya. Yana Loña. Right there. Hazareno. What a set! And Hazareno makes the most out of it. A crucial mini run here for the Lady Bombers. They're two points away from their first win. Time out, Coach Rod.
lumalabas ka pa rito, kakabigin mo rito di outside. Ay, ay, ay. Masyado nyo, masyado nyo, kanina ko ba sinabi, for set pa lang, huwag nyo pilitin. Hindi lumalabas yung laro natin kasi bakit? Uusad, hala, babalik. Uusad, babalik. Bakit? Binibilit yung baguhin eh. Kumapit kayo sa system. Lahat ng objective lang. Ang kailangan yung kapitan, wala nang iba. One step forward, two steps back. Yan yung sinasabi ni Coach Ron. How will they be more consistent in this match now that JRU is only two points away? He's also trying to correct Almazan with how she hits. Na wag na siya masyadong lumabas. Mm -hmm. Pumasok na siya, her approach, what Coach Ron meant, para ma-cross court niya or ma-down the line niya. Yeah. Here we go. Almazan! Better. And that yeah. is how she responds to that timeout. Much better approach and much better contact with that ball. So EAC is not yet done here. But you can see also, alam na ng JRU kasi na she was gonna go down the line. So when she went cross court, no one was there. Yeah, that's right. So Jen Umapas. Oh, good serve. Good serve. Hazareno, oh, power hit from Kaila Hazareno will put JRU at match point. Hazareno with so much might and power in her approach and in her hit. Yeah. Look at that, Martin. Kaila Hazareno, ito kanina, nilulong ball niya, ito, sharp hit from Kaila. The two leaders, Coach Mia has been saying, Lorente and Hazareno, they are showing up in this match. Yeah, Del Pilar serving for the match. Can he AC counter? Ah, Calma Almazan. Very quickly yes. takes the point back. She says not yet. She still wants to be in this match. Okay. Back. <laughs> She's all fired up. Let's go. We're excited here on the sidelines. Got Almazan to serve. How will they extend this match? They need to be more consistent. What a serve. Laurente, Hazareno, Hazareno! She puts, puts it away! Wow! You can see the consistency of JRU and their body language. What a win of JRU in three sets at that. Yeah. JRU sweeping EAC to take their first win in season 99. What a performance. Yes, I'm coming to the bottom of JRU. Kaila Hazareno. All the confidence. And that elevation, Martin. Wow. I am at a loss for words. Yeah. JRU was just brought their A game in this match. What a match we just had. JRU bouncing back big time, taking care of business. Longest set was set number three at 32 minutes, 25-23. And JRU is officially in the win column. And now we listen in. Let's listen to their school hymn.
We're back to our coverage still inside the San Andres Sports Complex at the conclusion of this match between EAC and JRU 25-20, 25-20 and 25-23 conclusion JRU with their first win in season 99 When we return, let's go first to a quick break when we return Let's talk to Coach Mia Joseco, head coach of JRU and a couple of Lady Bombers as well Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapo atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lindia sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics. Congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambata ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban para sa Pilipinas sa Paris Olympics. We're back at it at the conclusion of this match between JRU and EAC. It was a sweep for the JRU Lady Bombers to take their first win in Season 99. Martin Avier with Kaira Baroga here in the broadcast. And as promised, on the other side of the break, ito na po, kasama na natin 
si Coach Mia Joseco, head coach of the JRU Lady Bombers. Coach, I want to congratulate you unang-una sa inyong unang panalo sa season 99, Coach. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay, Coach, this was not an easy game for you guys, but you guys showed consistency all throughout the game here, minimizing your errors at crucial stretches. Una una, your thoughts on your first win, and did you expect a sweep against EAC today? No, actually, I'm very happy na lumabas yung laro ng girls, no? Uh, yun lang yung gusto ko mangyari for this game. At least, uh, siguro, nawala na yung first game jitters. So, at least now, they can gauge kung ano yung kaya nilang gawin. And hopefully, consistently nila magawa. Speaking of uh, lumabas na yung laro, you had a lot of players na ginamit mo ngayong araw na to at lahat sila nag-respond. But we talk about Tayala na dilagay mo sa starting unit today. She responded, the leader, Hazareno. For you, okay, among all the players na ginamit mo today, sino yung pinaka-impressed ka? Yung talagang abuti na lang lumabas na yung laro niya. Naging confident na siya at saka mas maganda na yung naging galawan niya. Um, kung ganun yun, no, I think it would be Kyla Hazareno. Hazareno. No? Kasi uh, personality niya is mas timid siya than then sila may or the the, the other uh, seniors but now at least nakita niya na kaya niya makipagsabayan sa loob ng court coach me uh, earlier you told me that the two people you've been having the um who want who you want to be leaders is Hasareno and Lorente and grabe talaga yung ginawa nila ngayon coach me from defense to offense how can you say na paano mo sila ginawang ready for today knowing that they have a lot of uh, teams to go up against um well lahat naman sila no so basta inaano ko lang na one point at a time mm -hmm. basta ready lang tayo kung alanganin just ituloy lang yung movement mm -hmm. and eventually dadating din naman yung 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 timing and everything eh. it's just that we just have to go over the hump yung yung, yung initial hump lang para lumabas lang yung laro ng kids. Coach Mia, also you mentioned earlier about Batara and also Del Pilar. Yeah. Ang ganda ng ginagalaw nila and they have big shoes to fill. They had Sid Niegos who left the team already, who graduated, and now they're here and they've been doing so well. Ano yung pressure, I would say, as you said, no pressure kanya, pero ano yung instruction mo on your two, for your two middle blockers especially? Lagi lang naman, no? just always watch the ball and then gawin yung movement, establish the block all the time. Okay. Uh, you mentioned already the middle blockers. Dalawang nawala kay Coach Mia, si Niegos, si Diniegos, tsaka si Riza Rose. Yeah. Nawala rin. Two of your leading scorers last season. Ang ganda nung palitan. Coach, pag-usapan ko muna si Del Pilar. This is a good prospect. Patara, a very good prospect. Pero I feel like he was already highlighted in the previous game with eight points. Dito si Del Pilar. 5'11". Uh, Maganda yung tools, maganda yung wingspan dito. Ano yung hinahasa mo pa dito kay Del Pilar? Very young player, only in his second year, or her second year with JRU. Ano yung hinahasa mo pa na po pwede pa nung lumabas sa kanya ngayong season 99? Siguro yung tapag pa, no? Medyo yung pagka-aggressive niya. Very, ano kasi siya, passive. Even her personality outside of the court. Mm -hmm. So medyo, ano lang siya, kailangan lang ng konti pang tapang, I guess. Konti pang tapang. Okay, coach. Ito, leadership, sinabi na rin ni Gaira kanina. Gusto natin i-emphasize ulit yung performance ni Inday. Oh, yes. Kasi lahat, walang bumababang bola kay Inday Laurente. Kahit yung mga munti ka ng, uh, or pumuntos na, aabutan pa rin yeah. yung bola. May time nga na na she hit her head. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, she might not be as vocal on the court, although she is vocal on the court, but she is leading by example. Talk about her performance today and sh how she was able to activate her teammates and be a leader on the court. Um, si Inday naman, uh, with speed and everything, uh, believe naman talaga ako sa kanya, no? Uh, minsan lang, um-over, no mm. over excited So, yung nerves niya, kailangan lang niyang, kailangan lang niya ng composure. So, um, and alam niya yun, dahil lagi ko naman sinasabi sa kanila yon So, I guess today, mas na-realize lang niya na kaya niyang gawin. So, yun yung ano, mas focused lang and composed siya today. Okay, Coach. Your chance to greet everybody watching right now. Dahil nanalo kayo, your first win of the season. Okay. Uh, sa buong JRU community at saka sa lahat ng support ng JRU Lady Bombers, uh, thank you very much. Thank you.
All right. Thank you so much, Coach Mihachi Thank Seko. You. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Again, JRU takes their first wing in naman. As promised, kausapin natin dalawang players mula sa JRU. With our love now is Kyla Hazareno. Go ahead, our love. Yes, that's right, Martin. Kasama ko ngayon ng isa sa mga talagang nagpakitang gilas sa JRU Lady Bombers sa si Kyla Hazareno. First of all, Kyla, congratulations sa unang panalo ng grupo ngayon season 99. Thank you so much po. Can you share kung paano niyo pinaghandaan yung game na to lalo na nung first game niyo dito medyo hindi naging maganda yung tapo. Oh, hindi po talaga kasi lumabas yung game namin nung first game. So last kahapon po nung nagtraining kami, gumawa kami ng mga adjustments at kailangan po namin gawin tas mas tinapakan po namin at yun lang nilaro lang po talaga namin yung mga laro namin. At talagang lumabas naman Opo. sa game mo ngayon. Opo. Nabanggit mo sa akin kanina, Kailan, na pang anim na taon mo na Opo. sa JRU. Ano yung pinakapaborito mong nangyayari sa inyong grupo? Siguro po... Um, yung unforgettable moment mo talaga. Unforgettable moment ko. Ito na lang po. Ito, <laughs> <laughs> ito na lang po. Opo, ito. Kasi um, last season po kasi na-injured ako. So, hindi ako nakasama yung nanalo sila. Kaya... Ito yung first win ko din po sa team na naglaro pa ako. Wow, congratulations. Okay. Talagang bounce back. Thank Tapos, you po. nabanggit mo din sa akin kanina na from Bicol. Yes po. Bicol to Orado. Manila agad-agad. Kasi -agad. <laughs> hindi ka nahirapan mag-adjust, nahirapan sa language. Hindi naman po. Kasi sa bahay namin tsaka sa school ko, mm -hmm. Tagalog na po talaga din yung language namin din. Wow. Again, congratulations. May gusto ka pong batiin o oh, pasalamatan now is your time. Um, gusto ko po pasalamatan yung JRU community po, lahat ng sumasuporta sa amin, and sa family ko po, and sa friends ko. Yan lang po. Maraming salamat, Kyla. Again, Kyla Hasareno from the JRU Lady Bombers. Balik sa inyo, Martin and Gaira. Maraming salamat, our love de Jesus. Kasama si Kyla Hasareno, 13 points today and a couple of those in the clutch as well to close out the match pero ang uh, nag-set up kay uh, Kyla Hasareno dito sa laban na to at marami tong sinet up na teammate ngayong araw na to Hinday Laurente congratulations thank you po ayan kita mo naman lahat ginawa mo today yes, para po. sa inyong team ito natin tumatakbo ka parang naikot mo yung buong court yes. eh oh, uh, ang masasabi mo muna sa naging performance mo today lalong lalo na Siyempre, galing kayo sa pagkakatalo against Perpetual na straight sets kayo. Ngayon naman, nanalo kayo. Eh, lahat po kami meron po eagerness na dapat manalo this game kasi sa last game namin is talo kami. Need po talaga bumawi. Tsaka yung lagi po namin iniisip na dapat kalmahan lang lagi yung galaw, isa-isa lang, tas one step at a time po. Ako hindi napansin ko kahit maraming batang player dito sa JRU at marami rin ginamit kanina si Coach Mia hindi iba yung tiwala mo. Yung mga veterano, binibigyan mo ng bola. Pero pagkapasok ng batang player, binibigyan mo uh, rin sila ng bola at binibigyan mo sila ng chance ang uh, umatake dito at pumuntos. Talk about your confidence dun sa mga manlalaro nyo, lalong-lalo na dun sa mga first-year player, mga baguhan pa lang dito sa NCAA. Eh, kasi po lahat, nakikita po sa facial expression nila na gusto rin nilang mag contribute ng every puntos pag pinapapasok sila ni Coach Mia. At lahat sa, sa lahat naman po ng spiker, meron naman po ang tiwala sa kanila isa-isa. Okay. Earlier, you had a really, really great game. Ang ganda, Inday, ng ginalaw mo. May time nga na nahulog ka pa, tapos you accidentally <laughs> hit, her head, hit your head sa yes, sobrang po. bilis mo. I would want to ask, how was your chemistry coming into Season 99? Kasi, again, what Martin said, ang dami nung bago. Tapos may dalawa kayong umalis. And ikaw, as the setter, as the brain of the team, paano mo binild yung trust mo sa mga teammates mo na kaya nilang dalin ang sarili nila and also the name of JRU? Lagi po kasi sa akin sinasabi ni Coach Mia na dapat kalmahan ko lang lagi. Dapat po ako yung mas composed sa kanilang lahat. Kahit kung gaano pa sila karatil sa loob ng court, dapat ako kalmado pa rin para kahit isa-isa man lang, makompose ulit nila yung sarili nila at mabalik in game po. Uh, Pag-usapan natin yung nangyari kanina, set number 3. Naging exciting yung action natin. Pumapit itong EAC. Papaano nyo kinlose out yung laban kanina? Ay, sinasabi po namin na kapitan natin to atin dapat to detail pwedeng matalo dito kasi yung momentum na sa amin na po kasi. Kasi na-advance na po kami sa ano, sa 
puntos po, kaya hmm. kailangan po ilaban po, po. tapusin na yung laban. At kinapitan nyo, kilabanan nyo dito, pero Inday, isa ka sa mga leader ng team na to, at syempre, gusto mo maganda, kahit marami kayong bata, kahit medyo nasa rebuild phase kayo, eh, gusto nyo syempre makakasungkit ng mga panalo. Ano expect natin mula sa JRU Lady Bombers ngayon na <laughs> nakita na natin yung totoong laro nyo ng mga player ninyo? Anong uh, expect natin the, in the next games? Ang um, expect po namin is mas kapitan pa po namin yung defensa, blockings, and mas composed pa po sa galaw namin lahat. Teka, S na lang yung mga middle blocker. Kasi syempre, yes. kailangan mabanggit pa rin namin ganda ng performance. Diba? At ikaw yung setter na talagang gustong-gusto mo ina-activate yung... Hahanapin mo yung middle blocker. Middle blocker mo. Pag-usapan natin ang 8 points last game si Batara. Ito si Del Pilar. Marami rin pin-reduce. Talk about the confidence. Kasi dalawang bago to. Tapos, yung ano ka, yung sanay ka ng mga middle blocker dati. Ngego, syempre ang tagal niya na magkasama nun. Opo. Risa Rosy, matagal mo na rin kasama. Pinalitan siya nung dalawang to. Pero parang same pa rin yung chemistry. chemistry. Oo, at connection. Kasi sila po nakikita ko po talaga yung galawan nilang dalawa na kaya nilang pumuntos. Kahit, kahit kaano pa ako kalayo mag-set ng bolo, kahit receive pa, kahit ibibigay ko sa kanila, kailangan, kailangan, kaya pa rin lang paluin yung bolo ng mga isa. Gusto kong pag-usapan na lang yung bago kita pabatiin dito. 13 excellent sets and 6 excellent digs. Again, inikot mo yung buong court dito. Floor defense mo ang isa sa mga na nag-inspire sa team ninyo. Yes, para ka nag-planting rice sa loob ng court. <laughs> Grabe ka. Ano ba yan? Off-season work mo ba yan? Talagang pinabilis mo yung sarili mo para mas maliksi ka sa court? Sabi po kasi ni Coach Mia, kahit anong mayari sa akin po lahat ng second balls, habulin ko po lahat ng bola. Ayun, hinabol mo nga. <laughs> Pati nga yung sa kalaban. <laughs> Debiro lang. Okay. Oh, Inday, pagkakataon mong batiin, lahat ng nanonood sa'yo ngayon. Ah. Hello po sa JRU community. Thank you po sa supporter sa amin lagi. At dyan po sa family ko, sa Laurenti family, thank you din po sa pananood lagi. And for my friends and... Yun lang, someone... Uy! <laughs> Ayaw pa sabihin. Gusto kayo. <laughs> May pabitin someone. pa siya. <laughs> thank you po. Someone. Pwede mo naman manggitin. Ayaw pa. Ayaw. 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 Sige, sige. Respect. Respect. Maraming salamat and thank congratulations. You po. Thank, you po. thank you so much. Thank you po, ma'am. Thank you po. Ang setter slash playmaker nitong JRU Lady Bombers. Three team excellent sets today. Again, doing it as well on the floor defense with six excellent digs. Inday. Laurente, congratulations. And on top of that, yung mga numbers na yun, nanalo sila. They got their first win. That number one in the win column here in the NCAA. Speaking of numbers, we'll check out some of the final stats we've had in this match. Okay, ito. Uh, Gaira, kapansin-pansin. It's a lot of errors. Yes, that's, that's the most... Uh, number of errors I've yeah. seen in a game. Mm -hmm. Actually, 31 on forced errors versus 20 of JRU. Ang attacks, konti lang naman ang kalamangan. But again, the blocks of JRU, next step up yung yeah. mga middle blockers ng JRU with seven blocks versus the two blocks only of EAC. And again, the digs. Ang ganda ng digs ni Reyes yeah. on the side of EAC. That's right. Reyes. And also Almazan, they've been doing a lot on the side of JRU. You have Lalong Isip, mm -hmm. who has had a lot of saves. Also Alonia, what an incredible game right. for them. And also the Aces, ito tayo magtiting in kasi EAC had a lot of service errors. I think if I'm not mistaken, it was around 15. 15, yeah. 15 service errors, so it was already half of their total unforced errors, That's which right. they have to minimize in the next coming game. Again, 31 unforced errors. Pero nakikita ko yung diferensya, Gaira, nung first two sets kasi natin. They had, I think, 11 in the first, 12 unforced errors in the second set. Pagdating ng third set natin, they were able to minimize that and at least lower that number to 8. At nakita natin yung resulta. Mas nakadikit sila sa JRU. So, again, that's an immediate concern for EAC, especially in their next games. For JRU, though, good job in taking advantage and getting the job done today. Lots of uh, promise para dito sa JRU team na to. Kaira, final thoughts? I think ito, well-matched yung players na to. But again, composure and maturity is what makes you win the game. So hopefully, mahaba-haba pa tong season 99 natin. Sana maayos nila ang way of playing nila and, you know, more aggressiveness 
in what they're doing inside the court. Okay, there you go, mga kapuso. Again, it is JRU winning it over EAC today on behalf of the entire broadcast team. My partner, Guy Maroga, our courtside reporter, our love De Jesus, our director, Derek Abet Ramos, our uh, panel director, Paca Senya, our director, Stephen Cruz, and Ramel Gonzalez. This has been Martin Ovier saying thank you for tuning in. JRU finally in the win column here in season 99, beating EAC in straight sets. Okay, we'll catch you in the next game day to pass the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Competition only on GTV.